what's up bull gang thank you guys for joining me in another video so bull gang quick message um i started a new channel okay i started a new channel and my new channel is not gonna have tarot um it's going to be more um intuitive messages okay and it's going to be more information about like um esoteric knowledge okay astrology whatever i really feel called to speak about universal laws um how to keep your vibration high how to protect your energy okay but it is not going to have tarot it's just going to be me speaking i've already recorded it i've already started the channel for like a couple weeks now i just been really nervous to tell you guys about it so yeah it's called divine calling okay it's spelled correct um and yeah i would feel so loved if you guys go over subscribe comment show love okay i'm also gonna post it um in the community chat but anyway i just wanted to get up here and tell you guys about that little baby that i've created okay so here we are Wow, I just heard, here she comes to save the day. <laughs> I actually forgot what that's from. I feel like it's from some type of Ace Ventura movie. Yeah, it's from Liar Liar, actually, I believe. Put a comment down in the bottom if you remember that movie, Liar Liar, Jim Carrey. Okay, Jim Carrey is like hella intuitive, right? He's like super, super in tune, okay? um, He sends out a lot of jewels. So... Jim Carrey actually okay let me just backtrack all right here she comes to save the day okay I'm getting towards that you are giving a lot lately okay you're like really in your Venusian energy okay male or female but I feel like you're going to be giving a lot or you're saving somebody's day you're saving the day this could be in the home this could be with friendships people just feel like you're saving the day or that you come and you're like it's like super superman superman or superwoman okay but um interesting though uh about jim carrey right so he speaks about how he uh yeah definitely coming to save somebody's day here somebody stressed the hell out um jim carrey speaks about how he used um the law of attraction a lot to you know in his in his road to fame or whatever in his road to success right he wrote himself a check um and he put it in his pocket and carried it with him forever until that check until he was making more than that so i feel like that's a video i'm going to be doing on my other channel about um you know using the law of attraction or and the other laws because everybody speaks about law of attraction but there's obviously other laws you can use okay um to to co-create with the universe anyway i feel like you're coming to save somebody's day we're going this is going to be a celtic cross okay well three minutes in not bad okay this is going to be a celtic cross for taurus angels and spirit guys please allow me to channel the messages for my taurians my beautiful taurus yeah taurus i feel like somebody is fighting for you or like i don't know somebody's like really in love with you okay they really okay wow the full card yeah, it doesn't look like here she comes to save the day. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. All right, but you're starting this new journey. You're starting something new. You're on a new path to something. I feel like you are just jumping off. You may need to be careful with something, okay? Because I feel like you're jumping off the ledge for somebody. Let's see. All right, what's crossing this? The Queen of Swords. All right, the Queen of Swords is crossing this. Yeah, intellect, okay, intelligence here. This is crossing you or speaking. All right, there's something that you really want to do here, but with the Queen of Swords crossing you, it's like you feel like maybe you don't have something in order to start this. All right, the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but it's something that you truly love, all right? It's something that you have a lot of emotional connection too okay you could be you could have water in your chart um i saw a lot of you saying that you're scorpio risings i'm a scorpio rising too all right so you could be very intuitive just naturally all right i'm getting like cancer scorpio piscean vibes here 
but um this is something that is i'm hearing like boiling in your blood or like in your blood all right so it could be like um dna it could have been inherited all right in the past we have the hermit yeah you've you've studied this already with the hermit card here you're some type of a scholar and whatever it is that you are speaking about okay you know you you've read you've studied you've done your work here you've been in hermit mode you've done your work all right, now you're ready to come out. <laughs> okay, so this could be about coming out. Maybe somebody's coming out of the closet. All right, I'm getting like a father figure here with the King of Cups at the base of the reading. This may be, um, this may not be something that you think that some type of a male father figure or something would be interested. I mean, not interested, but would be happy about. But who the F cares? That person has lived their life, honey. It's time to live yours, okay? Uh, let's see what's at the top of the reading. Yeah, the five of pentacles. You feel you feel left out. That's crazy. I'm really getting somebody here that is coming out. Like, that's really crazy. Okay. Well, you could be coming out of anything, all right? It doesn't have to be just like, um, you know, in regards to sexuality, okay? But I feel like you are doing something where you feel nervous that if you do it, you're going to be... Um, People are not going to accept you or you're going to be pushed out or you're going to be locked out. But I feel like it's really strange because I'm seeing like an anchor here, like in a boat in this card. In the, um, I feel like there's something here that is going to stabilize you or give you some type of a stability. All right. This could be a home um, or you're, you feel at home in yourself or something like that. But you're going to be going somewhere that feels like home. All right. And the um, in the future, we have the death card. All right. So some type of a transformation that is going to have to happen in order for you to um, free yourself here. There's definitely a transformation. Wow. We have three major arcana straight across the board. This is something that is absolutely written in the stars. It's going to happen if you continue to... Um, you know, try to resist this change is going to cause pain is going to cause you to feel this five of pinnacles. All right. So I feel like there's something that you have to start towards or something that you're doing that you've been feeling, you know, you've studied it long enough, my love. It's time for this change to happen. Spirit is like begging you. Okay. And the advice, the five of cups. Okay. So you've been crying about this. You've been, you've been worried about this, the five of cups you got these three cups something that maybe didn't work out in the past or something that you know you were a little bit worried about but spirit is like look at these cups i'm trying to give you over here these are the ones that's gonna prosper this is the one that's gonna work out why are you still worrying about this 808 as i say that honey this is abundance wow this is abundant these two cups were are abundant this was nothing this was fake i'm getting the um what is that? Uh, okay, when you take a pill and it's uh, the placebo effect. Is that right? Y'all let me know if that's right in the comments. Because <laughs> placebo is sounding real. That word just don't hit right for me. But I think it's called the placebo effect if I'm not tripping. Okay. It's when you take something like a vitamin, but it's actually just water or it's actually just nothing. And you take it and you feel like oh my god and you thought that that was happening you thought that pill was saving your life you thought but you thought wrong okay the thought in itself is what made you so prosperous that's that's what happened okay but once that is over spirit is like here now i'm giving you the real this is the advice all right in the environment the six of cups all right, so we go from the five to the six. This is the actual environment, though. I'm feeling like sharing here. Okay, there's somebody here that wants to share with you or somebody who wants to give something to you. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. Um, you are also extremely protected, okay? Um, there is a guard here, okay? So this is like a gated community. All right, there's a guard here watching over these two children play in a park, okay? This guard is your spirit guard or your spirit guide, energies around you who are saying you are absolutely protected to do what it is you want to do. Flourish, be creative, okay? Creativity, these are gifts as well. 
I'm feeling like this is some type of a gift that you received before you even incarnated into this earth. All right, if you guys have seen the movie Soul, I didn't really watch it all the way, but I'm getting that um that scene when he's like I don't girl, I don't know. There's a scene where, you know, they're deciding where they go, right? Or where they're going to go afterwards. And I'm thinking like this is that area. This is that place. Okay? And yeah, you're like incubating or like okay, cuz this is the environment. So it's like something is being gifted to you. Taurus. All right, what's the hope and fear? Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Of course it is. You're a Taurus. What else do we want but the bad, honey? No, I'm just kidding, but for real. <laughs> we want security. We want to feel safe. A Taurus, a bull is, you know, grazing the yard, enjoying all the luxuries of Mother Earth. Okay, green grass, beautiful flowers, fresh water, a beautiful sunny day. That's the Ten of Pentacles for a Taurus. Okay, that's the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you want, but this is what you're fearing. It's weird. It's like the more that you want it, you're you're, you're wanting something, but it's it's um it's causing a fear. Okay, it's like wanting it is creating lack. Wanting it is creating this energy because you you already have it. This is the environment. You're you're already in a yard protected with all this greenery, you know, flowers everywhere. This is the actual environment. I feel like once you realize that, then here it comes. Once you realize you're already, you already are. Once you live in that, okay, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that on my other channel. All right, whoo, the outcome, the nine of pentacles. Okay, tell me that's not, oh, this is Virgo energy. Okay, but it's an earth sign energy. This is Taurus. This is you. Okay, the death and the nine of pentacles. All right, so you're transforming into some type of an independent, I-N-D-E-V, okay. <laughs> Do you know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own car. Yeah. And does, okay. <sighs> yeah. Taurus. You are, also, I'm getting that I'm coming out again. I just feel like I'm coming out. Because before you were the hermit in the house, I feel like with this weather or something, you're about to just be like, no, actually, I'm about to let everybody know, you know, this is also big Virgo energy. You guys could really have Virgo in your chart somewhere. Okay. Yeah, so, all right, so the Seven of Wands is the bottom of the deck here, the Three of Wands, yeah, yeah, look at that, and the Ten of Pen and the ten of Cups. You're fighting for your happiness, you're going to be fighting for it, but you have to fight for it, okay? All right, um, let's clarify where we at, 13 minutes. All right, I'm just going to do some quick oracles, I think. All right, Taurus, let's get some energy oracles here. For my beautiful Taurus. I keep wanting to say you're beautiful. Like y'all can, you can look at my other readings and I, I mean, I know you're beautiful. I see y'all's icons, okay? I see your pictures. I know you're beautiful, but I never really say that. So I don't know. I feel like somebody is seeing you as a very beautiful person. Look at that nine of pentacles as the outcome. I mean, hello. Is this thing on? Mm. Taurus, what's the message here? What's the advice? We got the five of cups here. This is your advice. Okay. We have the sacral chakra and the uh, care and caring connections. All right, let's get one more and journey. We saw that with the fool. Whew, and there you are with the woman holding a coin. Okay. Man, you guys. Uh, seriously? Okay. 
I feel like your sacral chakra is turned up to 10. No, I'm just kidding. But for real, I feel like, you know, you have some type of sacral chakra energy, creative energy, birthing energy. I feel like you are in some type of a womb stage right now. That's what I was getting with the six of cups. I feel like you are creating something. I mean, this is masculine as well now. Don't, don't trip, okay? But, you know, and what happens in the womb? The woman is creating a life, okay? I feel like you are creating something that is going to be very prosperous, okay? It is a journey, though all right i feel like this is going to change some type of a, a partnership as well like i feel like this person loves you because you're so creative here i feel like if you are not in a relationship getting into your creative side at this moment is going to bring in a partnership all right journey you guys could be going on a trip going on some type of a um i heard expedition uh, x okay yeah what is that okay it's like a moth okay you guys could be seeing moths of some sort but um you guys could really be going on a trip here okay yes yes look at this the woman holding coins storm storm warning and goddess of the moon i feel like you are manifesting look at this oh yeah vibes heavy you're manifesting something. The old is being drawn out. There's a new being created and you are going to be coming into your power of who you are, okay? Um, look at that as I cut the deck. Abundance. Coins. Coins. Taurus. Look alive, sunshine. There's so many beautiful things coming for you. And already here. Okay. Let's see, Taurus. Knowledge. All right. There's some type of a knowledge that we got with the hermit. Okay. I Ching change. Yeah, so there's a lot of knowledge um, coming in, but I feel like you're changing something that you already known. Yeah, it's like a, um, you're transmuting something. So, you know, you may have been in school for a long time and now you're about to change it and use that as your um, as your career. OK, but there's some type of a knowledge that you already know that you're going to be changing it yeah affirmation i feel like you've been using your affirmations okay whatever this is you are definitely transmuting something it's like spell work okay but not in the way that you may be thinking let me get um an animal oracle or i mean an animal ally for you just to finalize i saw the panther yeah butterfly transformation See the moth Taurus okay Malachite beautiful stone oh the coyote wow I don't think I've ever seen this one before actually the coyote says I focus my attention on my behaviors and their results in order to learn from the past yeah So you're looking at how you've done something in the past and you're about to change it up. Laughter and compassion for myself help heal emotional wounds. Yep, six of uh, cups energy. Um, I stay with matters until they are settled and then I understand them. I observe myself with loving kindness. I accept myself and have tolerance for my ways of being as I learn and I grow. All right, Malachi says, are you able to laugh at your mistakes? Wow, that's crazy because I definitely feel like I touched on that on a, on a different reading, okay? We have to be teachable, okay? Do you take the time to learn from them? Have you felt like life is playing tricks on you? Observe yourself and the series of events that led up to perceived mistakes. Find the humor and liberty in the situation. Allow the energy of the lessons to help you mature and grow beautiful that's what i have for you taurus i love you so much um please like share and subscribe on my other channel divine calling and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video